Hi, I'm Alec Rice from Community Energy Plus, Cornwall's leading charity on delivering local solutions to fuel poverty, energy efficiency and renewable energy. This short film has been produced to help frontline community workers identify the issues of fuel poverty. Over the next five minutes, I'll show you how to identify if someone is living in fuel poverty. Make sure you check out our follow-on films that provide some top tips on staying warm and healthy at home and some simple steps to help the people you work with save energy and save money on their energy bills. So what is fuel poverty? Well, it's where a household spends more than 10% of its income on fuel bills. And it's more common than you might think. Across England, approximately 2.5 million homes are in fuel poverty. And here in Cornwall? Well, it's about one in five homes that suffer from it. How much? For some, it's a stark choice to eat or heat. Many people simply can't afford big heating bills, so they might self-disconnect by turning their heating off if they're on a prepayment meter, or ration what they use, which means that rooms don't get up to the recommended temperature of 21 degrees in their living area and 18 degrees elsewhere. Living in a home that isn't adequately heated can have significant effects on health, especially if residents are old, very young, disabled or suffering from long-term illness. It can lead to and escalate coughs, colds and other respiratory illnesses and is also dangerous for people with heart conditions. <coughs> oh, that didn't sound too healthy. When you're visiting a client, you may notice that some of the rooms feel cold or that they're living in one room to avoid heating others. These are key signs that somebody's living in fuel poverty. Another sign is the lack of a proper heating system. You might see portable electric fan heaters or bottled gas heaters. These cost a fortune to buy and to run. And your client may be dressed up like they're going on a polar expedition. A home that's not insulated will lose all its heat through its walls and its roof. Are you warm enough? Many people complain about having damp in their home. More often than not, what they're referring to isn't damp, it's mould. This occurs when warm air hits a cold surface and condenses on it. The moisture stagnates and causes mould, which can have serious effects for people's health. You may also notice on your visit that there's condensation on the windows. People often try to remedy this by using dehumidifiers and moisture traps, which incurs extra costs in buying and running them. A well insulated home would help alleviate this. These are all further signs that you can look out for to identify when someone's in fuel poverty. Now you know how to recognise the signs of fuel poverty, I do hope that you'll provide some advice and help to those suffering from it. There are agencies that can help. In Cornwall, Community Energy Plus can provide access to loft and cavity wall insulation. This can be free for the over 70s and those on certain benefits. General help and advice on all energy matters is available from our trained advisors. It may be possible to get some help with heating for your clients and together we can achieve a warmer, healthier home. Advice is also available on fuel debt and we might be able to help switch your, your client to a social tariff to help reduce their fuel bills. Are you happy for me to make some calls and get some help for you? Fuel poverty is a real burden for those living with it, but as a frontline worker, you have the potential to improve the lives of those you work with by helping them access support. I do hope you found this film useful and we'll take a look at our other guys, which will provide practical advice on helping to keep your client warmer, healthier and more energy efficient. Don't forget, you have the power to help them save energy and money now. <laughs>